class. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I'm glad. Okay, so yesterday we did greetings and now we're doing something new. We are moving on to compliments. Okay, so before we move on to something new, tell me what you remember about greetings. How do we greet someone in the Kora. Okay, that's brilliant. We say Kora and I love your pronunciation. So today the main focus is we're going to speak. So don't worry, I'm not going to bore you today. We're going to have group assignments, homework, and mm. class activities. We're just going to speak. I want you guys to speak to me because I enjoy talking to you. Okay, so compliments. A compliment is a polite expression of praise or admiration. It's always good to praise each other. It's always good to admire each other or to admire what we see. Okay? So, yeah, it's a polite expression of praise. It's polite. When something is polite, it's short and specific. Okay? You can't compliment someone and confuse them while complimenting them. Okay? That's what I mean. Okay. A compliment is a remark that says something good about the next person. You're supposed to say something good. It's, it's a compliment. It's not a negative statement. Okay? So, compliments are meant to make people feel good. So, before we dive deep into compliments, what do you think compliments are? In your own words. <laughs> Come on, Jason. What do you think compliments are? Imagine if something, okay, we said it's, it's a polite expression. It makes a person feel good. Okay, have you ever been complimented before? Uh, yeah. So what was your compliment? <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm a real charmer. Wow, <laughs> he's a charmer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so in the shadow, when we say a person is a charmer, we say it this way. Ome omu omu wa. Say it. Not that you're omu omu wa, as in you're, you're beautiful, but you're, you're, your personality is charming. Okay, you're a charmer. So say it, guys. Ome. Omundu, Omundu, Omua, Omua. Good, he's a charmer. Okay, so now before we move on into deep compliments, I want you guys to just give me your perspective of what the compliment, what the word compliment means. What do you think compliments are? Come on, do you have an idea? Nah. Nah. <laughs> okay, come on. Praise words. Praise words. Good. Keywords. Praise. Mm -hmm. That's the keyword. We praise. And praise is something good, okay? Okay, so when I say una what do you think that compliment means? Say it. Una. Una. Ondo. Ondo. Una means you. Una. Like the u means you. The na means have. Elbondunge means you are smart. Okay? So it means you are smart. When I say Momunika Nawa, it means you look good. Okay? So say it. Momunika. Momunika. Nawa. Nawa. Momunika. Momunika. Nawa. Nawa. Okay, I chose that compliment because you guys look good right now. Okay? Oh. You look beautiful. I love how you look. Thank you. Okay? Good. So the reason why I complimented you right now, I wanted to make a clear statement. In Oshirero, we don't just walk up to someone and speak to them. We first we greet. Okay? So that's why we did greetings yesterday. And now I just complimented you and you said thank you. It's always good to come to appreciate a compliment. Okay? You should always say thank you. It shows that you received it. You know, it's like a person will actually feel better that at least their compliment is accepted. Good. So today we are going to do so many interesting things. Just watch and see. Alex, I told you you don't drink water in my class. Name, but but name. <laughs> okay, it's good. Only Alex is allowed to drink water in, in my class because oh. he has a heart condition. Okay. Okay. Although we are all healthy, and so is he. He'll soon be. <laughs> okay, good. Now we're going to move on to another compliment that means you are humble. You are a humble person. In Australia, we say it as mm -hmm. This is how it's treated. Yes, it's very long. That's why our aim today is not on writing or or, 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 write, or writing or reading. It's on speaking. Okay? So very pupu pari. In our we don't read S S S. Okay? It becomes it's a th sound. Okay? So when we mean 
Where did you buy? Someone said where? Where? Ri? Ri? Fufu? 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 Parita? Parita? Where did Fufu Parita? Where did Fufu Parita? Awesome! Oh my God! Okay, I'm so excited. Where did Fufu Parita? You are humble. It's a good thing. Okay? It's really good because most of you are humble. You respect your teachers, so you humble yourself. It, it makes us feel better about ourselves, okay? So, yeah. Another one is, You are a good listener. Okay? Right now, you guys are doing a great job. You are listening, you're speaking, and it's, it's beautiful. You are a good listener. Listening is a skill, okay? So, today, we're focusing on the speaking and listening skill. When you guys speak, I listen, okay? And when I, when I speak, Yeah, it's vice versa. Good. All that on All the it's a, it's it's like these are two vowels together, okay? So we prolong all the you are. So this all means you. That means you are like the R right now. A good listener. Say it again. All the good. So, okay, compliments are important as they actually motivate. If I tell you guys now that you're good listeners, you'll continue being good listeners, okay? It's, it's reinforcement, it's positive reinforcement. Good. Okay, this is what I just expressed. Danny, she named. This is a universal response to all the compliments. No matter what a person says to you, as long as it's a compliment, you're supposed to say thank you. And you know she had always say thank you as in Dangi Shine. Thank you very much. Okay? That's what it means. So say it. Dangi. Dangi Shine. Shine. Awesome. Dangi Shine. That's how we say it. Okay? Now I want to tell. Oh, okay. Vanessa has a question. This is interesting. Um, then, can you also have a word like Oku Hepa? Yes. Okay. We do have a word Oku Hepa. But then it depends. Okay, since it's a new language, it's a foreign language, I can't teach you deep, deep words. Okay, Okuhepa, a native Oshiro speaker would really use that word confidently. But it's, it's the beginning, okay? So we did greetings last time, now we are doing the basics of confidence. So next time we'll go deep into the language. That's a very good word. Okuhepa means thank you also, okay? So like English has synonyms, Oshiro also has synonyms. This is interesting. Now, I'm teaching you the importance of compliments. The reason why I chose to teach you compliments today. Why I chose compliments, not anything else. Okay? Good. Compliments are icebreakers. Guys, the moment you walk up to someone and say something positive about them, you can actually break the tension between you and that person. When it's okay, when I walk up to you and say, Wow, you're wearing a beautiful dress. No, you know, no, there's no but. <laughs> In compliments, there's no but. Because the moment you say but, that's a good one. The moment you say but, it, it stops being a compliment. It becomes a negative <coughs> statement. Okay? It's an icebreaker. Before you actually seek help, sometimes you could be nervous. I need water from you, but I can't just find myself to just you. Just have people water. So I'll be like, hey, you have a beautiful smile. And then you say, thank you. And then I can go ahead now. Tension is it's an icebreaker. I can be like, okay, give me water, and then you can help me out. So, okay? is the word uh, equivalent to please in a... The word, which word now? Equivalent to please, is the word equivalent to please in a... There is, and it's an interesting word. The word please, please means arikana. Arikana. Okay, this will deal in, we'll, we'll work with words like this in our next lesson. Where we're going to talk about the most important words, okay? The words like please, you know, they show that you're begging, you're respecting. We're going to do, we're going to cover a lesson called respected words. How we speak to adults and how we speak to, 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 to our peers, okay? So this is it. The word please means arikana. 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 Yes. Mm. That is an interesting one. Okay, so <coughs> compliments are... Compliments are an all-purpose social lubricant. You can compliment a person for any purpose. It depends on your purpose. Why are you doing it? Well, for what purpose? What's the reason? Okay? But yeah, they boost the confidence of the listener. They make the receiver very happy. When a person says something about you, you feel good about yourself. Okay? You feel happy. It's something good about you. Good. They make bonding easy. 
if I keep complimenting you, complimenting you over and over again, we'll bond one way or another. You'll start noticing me, and I'll start noticing you, and then you'll noticing you'll notice me noticing you noticing her. Okay? Did you get that? Since we compliment yes. each other a lot, yes. I'll start noticing you, and then she will start noticing you too. Yeah. So then the cycle goes on. Okay. Compliments are very important, <coughs> especially when it's a foreign language. You can come up into a town where you don't know anyone, and you just say some few happy happy words. People will open up to you. You will soften up their hearts, okay? Because you want to make them feel good. It will show that you're not against them, but you're for them. You're with them. It creates unity. Okay, good. So before we end this lesson, I want you guys to actually know this is where you come in. We are using this interesting piece of box. What is it called? Uh, Manila. <laughs> it's a poster. Oh, in Oshinaro, we call it Oshipape. Say it. Oshipape. Oshipape. Yeah? Oshipape. It's like box. It's a poster. Box mm -hmm. and that's like Oshipakete, but Oshipakete is not a hero, okay? This is Oshipape. Good. So today. So you call a poster box? Yeah, it's similar. <laughs> the material is similar. In some languages, things don't really, you know, one word is used for a variety. Mm -hmm. Good. So I want you guys to actually give me. This is an activity now. Just think of something. Let me draw something. What do you see there? It looks like a flower. Yes, it looks like a flower. Don't worry, I, I, I never attended my art classes. This is a flower. Okay? When you see this flower, how do you compliment it in English? <coughs> it's a beautiful flower. Okay? So, in our share row, we are going to say, Okambloma Okawa. Say it. Okambloma Okawa. Okambloma means the flower. Okawa means beautiful. It's a beautiful flower. Okay? But when I draw a face like this, you know, this is my son's face. And he's a big yes. So if I draw something like this, with a smile, what do you see? Okay, a, a face with a smile. And if you have to compliment this, you say, you have a beautiful smile. Okay? You know, she can roll with all night. You know, she can You know, we don't have a word like smile. You know, she can roll. Okay? We have, we have the word giggle. Giggle? To giggle? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. and then we have onjora to laugh on. When you laugh out loud. So say it. No, onjora on what? No, no, I'm not sure. Awesome. Okay. What else can you think of? What else should I draw? A dress. A dress. That's nice. You take me back to those days when I was, you know, my prime age, when I used to play dolls and things. That's a beautiful dress. I hope it won't be your prom dress someday. <laughs> Since prom is coming up with holes, so this is it. How do you compliment a dress like this? <coughs> It's a beautiful dress. In Oshiro, we say, Oka Horokova, Oka Wa. Oka Horokova, Oka Wa. Oka Horokova, Oka Wa. Oka Horokova, Oka Wa. Okay? It's a beautiful dress. So, Oka Wa is the word for beautiful. Beautiful, yes. 